I'm Mickey Mouse, and this is a family-friendly channel. Who is my sister? And this video is part of a play. It's a plan has a clue. 31st of May. You can get away with anything if you're gay. So get in on the plan today. <laughs> and you too, if you demonetize this, you're homophobic. And together, we can beat societal conditioning. It's a Sis, help me. Guys, this is the hardest video that I've ever made. Forgive me if I'm not acting myself or if I stumble with my words. Just please listen to this video because there's a very important message behind it. This secret has been kept for too long. It's such a beautiful story that people just don't see the significance of, the beauty of it. And so I'm tired of living a fucking lie, man. I've known this secret for a long time and it's been just wearing on me, man. It's been wearing on me. See, there's a reason why I put this intro at the beginning of this video and at the beginning of my past several videos. You see, I use acting as a way to express sensitive subjects, politically incorrect subjects, truths, deep truths that people will get upset about. You see? This video specifically, I'm using acting as a way to protect myself and all parties involved. Ziz's family are actually pretty powerful people. So for my physical <laughs> and for a lot of people's physical and psychological safeties, I'm saying I'm acting. Guys, I'm in psychosis, don't trust me. This is just an act, please realize this is just an act. Ziz is not who you think he was. Ziz was an act. Fucking act. There is no Ziz. He was actually my inspiration, not only to get a great physique, to get girls, to stop caring about what society thinks of you, and act however the fuck you want to act. But he was also an inspiration for this play that I'm putting on. Ziz did not die the way you think he died. It's common knowledge that Ziz died of a heart attack. Many people hypothesize that it was because of his steroid use. That is the story. Now, if you guys pay attention to my Instagram, you will find that I have actually worked out with close family friends of Ziz. And I know the true story. It is a shame that it is not out there. It's a shame that people have tried to make Ziz something that he's not. To essentially dehumanize him. To make it seem like he didn't have issues just like you or me. This is an incredible mental health story that needs to be spread. Ziz committed suicide because he got a botched nose job. That's right. He was so insecure about his facial aesthetics, despite his godlike physique, that after a nose job didn't go as planned, he fucking killed himself. Ziz was an act. He was putting on a facade of who he wanted to be. He created this character, this confident character, that he he was playing as a facade to hide the deep insecurities that we all have as humans. All of us got into bodybuilding out of some deep insecurity. Maybe I'm not getting enough girls. Maybe I'm not getting enough respect from other people. That's why I got into it. I was bullied as a kid. I didn't have any respect from guys or girls. So I said, hey, I'm gonna get into bodybuilding. Maybe if I get a good physique, people will care about me. What I realize now is that it was the deep-rooted insecurity that was the real issue. And if people can become aware of this, they can heal and become better people. Ziz died of a botched nose job. 
He was so insecure about his aesthetics that it led him to commit suicide. He overdosed on a bunch of pills. I, I mean, I can relate. I've been there. I think we've all been there, man. This world can seem pretty depressing at times. People fail to see the beauty of it. They fail to see that all this suffering, this struggle, it's a learning process to help us get better. It's contrast. We couldn't understand the good times if it weren't for the suffering. Ziz was very enlightened in many respects, but unfortunately, the demons inside of him got the best of him. This is the true story. But please remember, Ziz's family, I'm just acting. No one's going to believe me because I'm in a psychosis, so please, please, just don't worry about this, okay? But you should know that this story is so much more powerful. It shows that Ziz, he's looked up upon as a god. He had faults just like you and me. This is why I decided to create a play in memory of Ziz. See, Ziz symbolizes more than you think. You know how Ziz was an act? He created this character of who he wanted to be. That's exactly what I did. I said, who do I want to be? Who is the most influential person of all time? Jesus Christ. And so I've put in, been putting on this play, acting like the person I want to become. It's incredible, okay? This is how you improve. Fake it till you make it, okay? You'll start to realize that it's not in genuine. Everything is an act. You act different around your mom, than you do your dad, than you do your friends, than you do a girl. You're constantly acting. That's all that there is, is acting, whether you're aware of it or not. This is God's play, don't you see? And you're an actor. This is just God looking through different windows, taking on different roles. We're all part of one greater divine collective consciousness. You think that you're separate from the rest of the world. It's just an illusion. You are one with the infinitely complex dream that we're living in. It's a giant mental simulation. You see, Ziz is very much like Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ put on a grand play. He wasn't some elf. He wasn't some fairy godparent. He was a human like you or me who had a great spiritual message. He found peace within and he wanted to spread it. So he got a lot of people in on his play. He faked his death, okay? I provide so much evidence of this in my previous videos. It becomes blatantly obvious. Jesus put on a great act to make the world a better place. And so did Ziz. He put on a great act and he influenced a lot of people. He influenced me to make this play. Act like who you want to become and you will become him. I decided to put on an act, a character, the second coming of Jesus Christ. And guess what? I had to learn the true meaning behind Jesus' teachings. The kingdom of heaven is within, motherfucker. It's not some mystical realm. You can be in heaven right now. I'm getting closer and closer and closer to heaven every day. Being more real with you. Expressing what's on my mind. Acting the way that I want to act. Just like Ziz inspired me to do. I and the Father are one. There is no separate self. You are one with God. There is nothing else other than God. Than reality itself. Don't you see? It's one infinitely interconnected divine consciousness. It's all working together to put on this grand story. To give you an incredible experience. Your experience is the same experience that God is experiencing. I think that we can all learn a lot from Ziz. We all have faults. Some of the greatest people. The greatest influencers of our time are going through the deepest, most terrible suffering. But trust me, if you keep fighting through it, you will realize reality is incredible, man. It's incredible. Everything has a purpose. All the evil in the world, all the suffering, is to give you context for the good, is to put you through a learning experience. I wish Ziz was around today.
I wish I could have a conversation with that kid. There's a reason why I faked my death so many times. It's to spread mental health awareness. So you don't do what Ziz did. So you don't become attached to these materialistic surface level things. And find something deeper. Find true meaning within. Find true meaning from just being. Do you have any idea how magical it is? You're sitting here and just alive? Witness this beautiful reality, motherfucker. You're fucking existing. You're being. You're experiencing all these colors, these shapes, these sounds. It's fucking beautiful. I need to spread this story. So hopefully you can wake up and we can change the world together. But remember, this is just an act. It's all a grand play. Nothing that I said was real. Just a fucking hoax. This is not some infinitely intelligent plan to get around societal conditioning, societal norms, political incorrectness, and the snares of the ego that's holding you back from speaking what's on your goddamn mind. Ziz, I know you're there listening to me right now. And I know you're fucking proud of me. Because I know you would want this story to be spread. You would want people to know your true genuine self. Because if you're up there in heaven, if it is some mystical realm, and you're enlightened right now, you realize that every part of reality is beautiful. And what you went through should be a huge inspiration for everyone else. To be aware of their own mental health and heal the past trauma. To find something deeper. For all parties involved. See, I can't even talk right now. Please forgive me. For I know not what I do. Or do I? Who knows, who knows who's in on the plan? Could be a lot more people than you think. Learn from Ziz. Act how you want to act. Don't give a fuck what people think. But also learn from Ziz. And realize that the greatest people have insecurities too. And that we're all suffering. And we can get through this together. We just gotta become aware. And learn. Unconditional love. I can truly say that I'm speaking to you from the spirit of Ziz.